Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. I got another white paper review for you here, C Farmers. Uh, it's a game that's been very popular on the Atomic Hub. Uh, they just did recently they did a few drops. So I wanted to make sure I did a, a white paper review here before they launch in March. Uh, but before we dive into this, make sure if you like these kind of videos, if you like the white paper reviews, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing at least two or three of these every single week. Try and spread the, the word of new games that are, are launching soon or have just launched. Um, also, if you go ahead and throw a comment down below if you have a game that you want me to feature as in the white paper reviews. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, I must say before we get started that I am not a financial advisor or a financial professional. Please do not take this as financial advice. This is entertainment purposes only. So make sure you do your own research before diving into any game, any investment, anything in life. Don't just listen to a YouTuber for this advice. Uh, so make sure you do your own research and let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if you like games like Farmer's World, um, War Space, Spacecraft, those types of games, you may be very interested in this type of game. It is, um, I think there's two types of games on Wax um, and both appeal to different types of people. There is the, the ones that are trying to build out the Metasphere, uh, for example, Farming Tales, for example, Taco Universe. Uh, and then there's the other games that are more click click to pay, um, that are looking for more quick ROIs. Um, not necessarily longevity of a game. I, uh, I'm not saying that this won't have a, a long term, um, but there's two types of games out there. Some people really like the, the click to earn uh, types of games. Like I said, the, the Farmer's World, the, the War Space and, and things like that. If you like those kind of games, uh, Sea Farmers is going to be really uh, the type of game that you want to take a look at. Um, let's go ahead and dive into this. It has a, a very similar vibe to, uh, I'm just going to refer to Farmer's World because since that's the most popular out of all of them. Um, it has a similar vibe with a sea approach to it. Um, so keep that in mind as you're going through. Uh, if you go over to the website, seafarmers.io, uh, they have a nice little video on here. You can access the white papers. The beta is currently not live. Uh, was there for a little bit. They they had it go live. They tested it out. Um, found a few issues that they're resolving to, to prepare for the launch coming up here. This video also that I'm not going to play right here, but I, I recommend you take a look at it. Uh, it gives you a very high level also of how everything's going to look. It gives you a, a little more details on the actual cards themselves that aren't exactly shown. Uh, too much in the white papers, uh, but as far as the gameplay goes, essentially what you're trying to do, you're, you're a seafaring individual that does a lot of fishing, um, you do some mining, you do some, you try and get some minerals, and you bring those together into the ecosystem to try and gain as much wealth as possible. Um, as far as the roadmap goes before we actually dive into the white papers, I, as I mentioned, they, they've already done the, the, the main sale uh, if you want to get any of the NFTs, they are out on Nefty and Atomic Hub on the secondary market, so you can go ahead and check those out. Right now, the price is pretty high. It's it's pretty standard with these kind of uh, click-to-earn games where they the NFT prices are pretty high, so make sure that you take a look at that um, to make sure if it's your budget and what you think the long-term span of the project is going to be. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. Um, the official game launches in March. So at the March timeframe, you'll be able to go ahead and start using those NFTs and, and hopefully start earning coin. They have some additional steps. April, they're gonna be adding new locations and we'll talk about the locations when we get here into the white papers. Um, they're also gonna add a breeding element to it, which I'm assuming is related to the fish uh, that you're able to pull out. And then last but not least, they will have a, a land sale in June timeframe. Uh, and I'm assuming beyond that, they'll have additional steps. This is just what they have documented here. So let's go ahead and jump over to the white papers. Um, by the way, I love the, love the graphics. It's, um, it's makes it fun. Uh, it's one thing that they did really well with this, uh, just from what I can see from the game and the white papers so far, it's very visually appealing. Um, a lot of white papers you look at are very plain, uh, very, uh, boring to say. 
Um, I'm glad they added a lot of the art elements to it, which makes me think that when the game is actually released, it'll also be very visually appear appealing. So if you like that kind of thing, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, I'm going to skip through a couple of these pages pretty quick uh, because I think they cover a lot of things that I mentioned. Um, as far as the basics of the game on the Wax blockchain, um, most of my white paper reviews are uh, there's going to be three basic tokens. It's going to be fish, mineral, and I lost the third one, and we'll, we'll get to that here in a second. Um, but you also have the opportunity to get seven seven types of fishermen in the game. And for the most part, from my understanding, most of these fishermen will actually only be available in the game. So they won't be NFTs. There are some NFTs on the secondary market, but a lot of them will only be in-game. So they can only be passed on through the wallet and purchased by in-game currency. Um, so keep that in mind, but there are some that you'll be able to get on the secondary market. They are expensive on the secondary market, thousands of wax on the secondary market right now. And I'm not sure if that's because they're super special ones or if they're uh, super limited, most likely super limited. And then in addition to that, they're also gonna have different locations. This is a neat aspect that, that you don't see in the farmer's world uh, types of games where it's you, you're literally on your, your plot of land. Um, it, it'll be neat to see how they do this uh, from the different locations. I'm assuming each different location will have a, a different benefit, uh, some sort of challenges with it. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how they handle that. Uh, jumping to the next one, this is where they start talking about the fishermen themselves. Uh, looks like the fishermen will be a very limited quantity. Um, it looks like 350 pieces. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll be for each of them or, or how that's going to work, but it gives you the opportunity to go ahead and put in seven different fishermen, not all available right now. Um, and each one will give you some sort of bonus as you're going through from from just access to different locations to your, your fishing production, your extracting mineral production. The treasures was the third token that's that I was trying to think of uh, previously. And then uh, there's overall breeding a lot once the breeding is available down the road. Um, here we go. Right now there are four fishermen in game. Um, three of them are in game store only. This is what I had mentioned before. So you can't buy them on the secondary market because they're technically not NFTs. Uh, they will stay within the wallet um, and they all provide some sort of benefit, like 30% uh, bonus in either production or digging or mining or uh, something along those lines when they're open. Uh, moving down a little bit further here, as far as the game mechanics, it's pretty simple. Um, you're going to mine, you're going to fish, and you're going to mine some more uh, for the three different tokens for the fishing. Um, the fishing, the minerals, and the treasures, you'll have different tools for each of those minings, um, which I, they don't show in the white papers, which is which is, was a little disappointing to me. At least I, uh, maybe they do down here a little bit further. I'm going to jump down to it. Um, it does, I guess it does show some of the tools and I'm sorry I'm jumping around. I wanted to show you the tools as I'm in the section. This is just an example of it. Um, uh, you see the, the design is, is relatively similar to the other games that I had mentioned previously. Um, you'll have everywhere from a common up to a legendary uh, tool. And it, it sounds like you, you may be able to upgrade your tools or blend your tools. Um, a lot of those details were not provided yet. Um, so that's neat that you'll be able to do that. That's missing from, from some of those games. Um, but it, the the three tools, three tokens um, is, is very similar to what you've seen before. Uh, it's worked well for a lot of games, um, specifically farming, Farmer's World. Um, it's Since that's probably been all around, it's one of the longest, and I say longest, uh, fall, late summer, fall of last year. It's been around since and it's still number one on a lot of rankings. Um, so this ha definitely has a chance, uh, especially if a lot of the following from Farmer's World jumps into it. Um, anything else? Yeah, th this just shows a uh, just basic interface. I wish I could access the beta to show you that. I should have jumped on that when that was available. Um, but overall, and here's the locations. Right now there's only three locations available. There'll be more down the road. Again, I'm interested to see how they, they do this location. 
um, I think it's going to be a neat aspect. I, I, I'm assuming as you level up and as you get different different fishermen, you're allowed to go to different different locations, which will uh, essentially boost uh, your overall production and performance. Um, it's a neat neat looking game, especially if you're into the the click to play style games. Um, just wanted to show you the and in the atomic market, it is currently currently higher ranked, um, which is nice. Um, the equipment is the main thing that I wanted to focus on. This this actually shows you the three different types of equipment. Uh, fishers, fisherman pole for, oh, sorry, fishing rod. Um, we have the pickaxe and we have the magnet for minerals. Um, sorry, that might be for treasure. I think I'm backwards. Um, but you see by the prices here, they the prices are pretty high right now. So keep that in mind. It, it, depending on your budget, you may want to wait a little bit to see if they go down. Uh, or if you want to jump in, because as you all know, usually the, the price of the tools match up with the price of the token. So keep that in mind. Um, it might be a good good thing for you to jump in on. All right, my thoughts on the game, as you've all heard uh, from previous videos, I lean more towards the Metasphere style games, um, the Farming Tales, the Taco Universe, the uplink, or sorry, unlinked types of styles of games where it's slower development process, but it, it's going to give you a much more long-term approach to the game over the click-to-play. But if you're a click-to-play type of, of player, this may be perfect for you. So go ahead and take the do the research, uh, and I hope you enjoy. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.